Why, hello, fair viewers. This is so Anon, finally back to being involved in this channel and this series. Uh, Lance is not able to do this reaction this time, simply for the fact that he's already seen the videos in question. I still think I need to be the one doing the reaction. But, as I just said, you already saw this video. At BronyCon this year, which he attended, there's a vlog in it. Link will be in the description. He got to meet uh, quite a few people, and uh, including two people in this series, Analysis Anarchy. Uh, the Wilsonator, also known as Thespio, and Joey Turner, also known as Jasper Pie. And if it weren't for Dear Jasper, we... Well, we probably wouldn't be recording this particular day, but he was kind enough to give us a reminder that these videos were available. But again, since Lance has already seen the videos at the pa their panel at BronyCon this year, well, it wouldn't be quite fair for him to do a video and it not be a genuine reaction. Now, would it? I know, but these guys watch me. They don't watch you. No offense. Why would I be offended? I'm never on the channel. I'm never. People never get to see what I have to offer. It's always you. You're the spotlight, which is understandable. It is your channel, after all. But you made me. You brought me into this channel. You might as well use me. And you know what? Yes, I do take offense. Because you brought me onto this channel. Use me. Use me however you see fit. Don't take that the wrong way, children. Besides, don't you remember? It was I who started off the reactions for Analysis Anarchy back when we were first requested. You gave the role to me to watch Analysis Anarchy the first go-round. Don't you remember? At the very beginning, the first two videos that we actually recorded a reaction to, it was I in the first video, and in the second video, it got hot behind the mask, so you came back out. Halfway through the second video we watched, which was the Seven Nation Army video, by the way. Don't you remember? Hmm? Nothing to say? Alright. Okay. Fine. Just just do your best to make this entertaining, okay? And let me out of this daggum closet when you're done with it. No promises. Yeesh. Actually, I can't quite say that. This is his channel, so obviously he will be allowed back and apologize for that background noise. But anyways, we're about to... I may as well see what that notification was about. A friend is on the way. But anyways, let us get back to the video. The two videos we will be reacting to this particular session is TF2 Analysis, Voice and Fox Bonus Argument. From the last video, the which video was it in particular? The one where... I'm trying to remember the name. It was where A NY... Revealed that he had an alternate form. Not a super form, but an alternate form and was uh, feeding off of uh, Voice and Fox's uh, disagreement. So, we're going to see this. Links to both videos will be in the description. Go watch them before you watch them. Watch us react to them, or me, rather, in this case. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and Lance will watch the, the Finn... The Fingerbread Man, I guess. He will react to that one since he didn't see that one at Burning Con. We will watch these two here. And yes, continue on. Let us see what exactly it was that Fox and Gold uh, Golden Fox and Voice of Reason were talking about the two snipers. I'm just saying you'd actually hit more targets if you weren't using the classic. At least my gun knows how to no scope. But you Well, at least I have a secondary slot open. You forgot to equip yours, or is the Razorback constantly on refresh mode? Why equip that when you can be at the highest building where no one else can find you, Earth Pony? Oh, we're going in that direction, Air. are we? Well, at least when I get nosebleeds, I can only point out one excuse. Excuse me? What well, should what that should mean? I insult? Your lightheadedness? Or your lightheadedness? Says the one with a stick up their bum. That stick is right to be placed there! <laughs> Not the way I wanted My to goodness. <laughs> Walked right into that <laughs> one, didn't you? You really should look at where you point everything, even your wording. Newbie Dash is perfectly fine. Do Princess's Dream of Magic Sheep is a masterpiece, and I will never take that back. Dab oh. Corona haters. Yeah, last pony who dab fell flat on their face. I see. Gravity rules, baby. Gravity falls. Hey, I like that show. Oh, yeah, well, I... Yeah, I can't argue with that. It's well, a good show. Well, at least we could agree on something. What are your thoughts on Legend of Korra? Not as good as Avatar, but I still like it. 
Yeah, no argument there. Korasami for life, though. At least it's not like Gumball. Beg pardon? Bitch. Gonna have to pause this video for a moment. My apologies for that uh, interruption. It's actually been a few hours after the, after uh, I stopped the video the last time. Uh, people came over and uh, I stopped the video for temporarily, but I am back now. We are back. So, let us return to Voice of Reason and Golden Foxes bickering. In just a moment. I also ate in that time, so pardon me if I, if uh, some fumes come out. <clears throat> Anyways. Show's complete garbage. Are we watching the same show? Amazing World of Gumball is a masterpiece. Sans that one episode about abusive relationships. Right, a masterpiece to you is when characters make random decisions with little to no plot. No, a masterpiece to me is when you take a character out of a random situation and make their struggles almost seem real in a span of ten minutes. Oh, you mean like a typical rule of three formula? Talk about playing it safe. Okay, how about we hire the All likeness right. of Studio Trigger to simulate a fight scene that homages Dragon Ball Z? That sounds a little desperate for quality, if you ask me. Oh yeah? Well- Oh my. Wait, how did we get here? Not sure. Feels like we've argued into a separate dimension. Ugh. Morty. It seems like we've been arguing just to pad out times while things happen in the foreground. Yeah, oh. audience? Did you actually spend your time listening in on this conversation? Wow, that's dedication for you. Either that, or they should get a life. Who wants cookies? I sure like some. Well, fair. Many, many of us could use a life. Um, but... <laughs> in seriousness, I'm certain that there were quite a few people who absolutely took the time to listen in on your conversation. Uh, as bickering and padded out as it was. So, but still, uh, good, good attention to details that the fact that... <clears throat> uh, excuse me. That, uh you would actually have a conversation going on in the background that people could focus on if they chose to. I call that good writing. And the fact of, well, yeah, I could agree. I could agree with both sides on things, but let's uh, go on to the next video, which is the TF2 analysis asking for the moon. Now again, this is another one that Lance over here did see at BronyCon. The next one we react to Neither of us has seen, but he will be the one reacting to it. I'm just watching this one because I just want it to be fair. <clears throat> In any case, let us proceed. I'm going to turn the volume slightly off this one. Let's proceed. Then the Pony Pride Losers in association with, with Vector Brony and the Brony Analysis Community. Audio edited by Joey Turner and... <clears throat> Get through that one. Asking for the moon. Would that happen to be Sailor Moon? What's the pony equivalent of Sailor Moon? Sailor Pony? My grandfather once said, Not Pony Moon. In peace you prepare for war. Myself? I believe war is the only path to peace. That's ah. why I went to join their little club and show my skills. What sure. happens? That's right. A certain Scottish mayor tried to kill me. That's right. That did happen. I learned that those analysts would never be true soldiers, and I would simply have to build my own army instead. Oh. And then that grey pony made me an offer I couldn't refuse. He offered me the resources to build my machines, and all I had to mm. do was crush those who had wronged me. So you were given the tools that you needed. And that grey pony abandoned me! <clears throat> oh, so you did go up in flames with that explosion then. Thanks to that. Golden Fox. My body and my machines were blown to pieces. Not to mention my plans as well. A spirit. Oh. Oh. oh! Simply have to find a way out of this crazy mayor's sword. It's not that what I, I don't like killing these analysts over and over, but these superforms are theirs. Wait a minute. The superforms all involve transformations of some sorts. Correct. That scout and her guardian angel. That mm. cute little alicorn turning the dragon. into a dragon. And Silver Pearl turned into an bird. Angry bird. Turning into a bird ball. I believe Lance described him, uh, initially described him as a little bo white golden snitch, and then Doctor there's uh, the Maddie lion. lion. 
and that pyromaniac turning into a fairy? Which? Whatever. Maybe if I can get my host uh, activated. I can't remember hers, what that form of be described as. Transformation that can give me my own body again. Hmm. When I find my way out of this. Let me guess. You can hear every word you're saying. On the grey pony first, and then I'll crush those analysts with an army like the witch that none have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I assumed as such. You know, it probably says something about my sanity when the voices in my head are talking to themselves. <laughs> Never mind you, sweetie. We must unlock your <clears throat> superpowers. <laughs> Quite an interesting conundrum meh. there. Meh? What do you mean, meh? So he's not interested. Are you frustrated that everyone is so much more powerful than you? No, not so, sweetie Bloom. Not really. I am Pink Lemonade Pone, and as we all know, when life gives you lemons... No, 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 no! <laughs> when life gives you lemons, don't make lemonade! Make life take the lemons back! Get mad! I don't want your darn lemons! What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager! Make life rule the day before we could give vec... Uh, I mean, Jiminy Lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm nice the one who's gonna burn your house down! With the lemons! I'm gonna get Finn to invent a complete I don't think that's scientifically possible. Down. Unless there's a component in lemons that could Do you need a hug? combine with something to be combustible. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Yes, I do need a hug. Desperately. Problem is, I don't have my own body to receive them. Why the if winky you found sad your face? Super form, I might be able to get a body of my own for hugging. You had to throw in an oh whoa okay. in there, didn't you? Excellent. Now the first we need to try is. Hey, super form. I got this. She just happens to have that on hand already. It's plausible. Seeing a silver coil apparently had one for a while. Aww, I don't get an over elaborate 30 second transformation sequence? Not in the budget! Fair enough. <laughs> now where is I love the that meta humor. Us? And you? What of you, sword? Or person in the sword? Then. No! Are you an otter? No! <laughs> you look like either an otter or a weasel. So how's that plan going for you there, Vector? <laughs> oh, you silly, silly boy. Thinking that you could... Oh, t just take over. But still, it's uh, fitting that Sweetie Bloom would happen to be the, uh... The Sailor Moon. Oh, very interesting. So, how many characters does that leave without super forms at this point? Let's see, let's count the very, very, very short list. There's Finn, and then there's Dr. Wolf. Honestly, I believe that that's it at this point. I could be wrong. But unless I'm just missing someone, I do believe that is all of the people who just... All of the characters who need a super form. A very short list. However, I think... The next video might lead into... What very well may become Finn's super form, based on the title. I'm the Finn Gerbred Man, and of course, Lance will react to that one. But anyways, this was a very, very interesting take. Uh, definitely. Is it as you remembered from BernieCon, Lance? Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. You know, plus an audience reaction. Yes. So, I believe that wraps up my time here. What did you find, ladies and gentlemen, think of this? Let us know down in the comments below. Down below. I like this video if you enjoyed the reactions that we brought us. As stoic as they were. Subscribe, uh, comment your favorite video of the two, and what jokes you found funniest. Subscribe if you're new, and tap this bell, this lovely little bell next to the subscribe button, so that you may receive word of when we upload a new video, or rather, Lance, most of the time, if you'll ever let me back in a video. Tap that bell, so you may be notified when we release a video. And this has been Sir Anon. And as always, a pleasure to be part of any video.